All right, yeah. Let us get airy. Oh God, the muscle memory is gonna fuck me up so bad. <laughs> I'm already kind of gotten used to the other things. All right. I think it's about time we put more right English. <laughs> start rebuilding this company. What do you think? Yeah, let's do it. Then, without further ado, let's begin. Oh, I didn't grab the speed run notes. To make sure I do this right, I am literally going to use speed run strats, and therefore I need speed run notes. It would help if I spelled speed run correctly. Right, let's check on, start by checking on Ichiban Convections, whatever the f you were saying. Where's the guides? Give me. No, not that. Give me this. Where is business mini game? There it is. Okay. Go to properties and check the details of your properties. Yeah, it's time for a speedo run! <laughs> well, I finished guiding the other day and sent you a message saying, oh my god, the ending I am dead. They're pretty unemotional when it comes to games, too. <laughs> guiding will get you! As it turns out, I'm not too sure what will work best for us. Kasuka said I'll leave the review of assigned employees to you. So yeah, each property uh, will have like stats and people. The people will also have stats, and so you need to make sure like everything is good. You want Tome here for the fuck is I? Eli, an omelet in slot, like in slot three, because that'll allow us to get over the like little things. No, let me back in. No, I wasn't done. But basically, depending on what like slot they you are recruiting them into, uh, only certain stats will be used, and so you have to make sure that you like place your employees correctly so that like their good stats are being used. Ichiban Convection School only has five employees, but to be honest, the wages we're paying out are one of the biggest detriments to our profits. Also, I forgot to change the stream title and category. Hang on. Let me pause to do that. Hang on, let me do this. Like a dragon. There you go. There we go. But yeah, or one of the biggest detriments to our profits. This is going to sound terrible, but laying off two of the employees might be necessary to get us back on track. Kasuka san, please lay off two employees who are not currently assigned to a property. Get out of here, you slackers! Wages of employee who are not assigned to a property are paid in the form of surplus labor cops, which are deduced from sales. Try to avoid risking your business by laying off these employees when conditions are not satisfactory. Great, we should start seeing some improvements from here on out. All that's left is to see where the dice is fall. You can also strengthen your properties from the manage, uh, manage properties menu. How you handle that is up to you, Kasuga san. So you're not allowed to do that. So yeah, if you are trying to do speedrun strats, you will increase this to level three, increase that to level two, increase that to level three, and increase that to level two. These are upgrades that will help, uh... So the sales volume will help you make more money off of uh, a property, 
but as you can see, it also increases the amount of stats you need. And then these are just like base, like flat, like stat ups. But yeah, for speed run strats, you go three, two, three, two. And congrats! To do. We never have to touch this part of the minigame fucking again. We just have to hold R2. Let's make that <laughs> yeah. That's not right. Pretty lucky. Uh, still make it rain. Here's how the business did. These are incredible results. And hey, look, we made some money. Great out there. Things are going up. That's what I'm talking about. Our ranking went up. Hell yeah. I know I'm not exactly short of cast. I'm just showing like this is how you get through this fast if you're like on a first playthrough. Amazing. We did it. And, and therefore, you know, you don't have the 12. Have million? An investor make However much I have. Friends, it seems. It just goes to show the importance of where you put your money. Right. To invest in people or infrastructure. There are so many ways to do this right here and now. But we should also consider how the money can be used in the future. Money for the future? I guess it all boils down to making the right choice at the right time. <laughs> There's more to this than I thought. I'd say we're on the right track, seeing as we made a profit this time. Ichiban Confections is finally making a comeback. Let's continue working our way into the top 100 Kasuga-san. Uh, President Kasuga. You know it. <laughs> we now can summon Omelette. Yeah, and so now we're not allowed to, like, play this minigame anymore. We have to leave. For story purposes. <sighs> Hell of a day. Oh, and we've got our gig at the Yokohama Trading Company tomorrow. Again. Guess we should just head back and hit the hay. Yeah, it's not healthy to stay up too late. <coughs> Sleep police? I'll go to bed when I'm ready. Come on, we're buddies now. So trust me, you need your beauty sleep. She doesn't have a thing for me, does she? You ever notice how she only picks on me? Maybe that's what she does to men she's secretly attracted to. Namba, uh, calm down. It's in hell, old boy. Hey, how about I make dinner for everyone? Wow, you can cook? Like a chef. I'll just go buy some ingredients. Nanchan, come with me and carry the bags. Nanchan? Here you got a nickname, go. buddy! Congrats! She sure seems happy about falling in with us. But... But what? I wonder if it's really the best thing for her, you know? I guess it is a dangerous bridge she's crossing with us. But it's what she wants. Just because she's having a little fun with it doesn't mean she ain't committed. Shouldn't we respect that? Yeah, you're right. Okay, be back in two shakes. We sure went hard last night, huh? <laughs> it was a nice change of pace. Yeah, guess we should head to the warehouse. What's up? We gotta get to the bottom of the shady stuff quick. Can't handle much more of it. Nope, it's time for more business minigame. Okay, Shay Shay. What? Let's see. I like hanging out with yeah, trash men too, EG, don't worry. <laughs> not enough. Excuse me, boss? What is it? There isn't enough money in the safe. Huh? 
Oh, well, we have had a lot of shipments lately. I like how you can tell that this guy's Japanese or er, Chinese isn't as good. This is the first time to prepare. Be careful. Believe me. Wait right here. Yes, sir. What the? That wooden box. What the heck? This is just paper. Again, don't you think the size of that paper is kind of suspicious? Well, that'd be weird. What? Oh, um, it's not here yet. Good! We're walking around with a dud. What? Counterfeit bills? That man never left the place. How would he get more money? Yeah, those have got to be fake. Unbelievable. I mean, it's fucking weird, right? Where'd all that extra money come from? He did have to go to the bank. No, he went to the second floor. Never set foot outside. I saw him, and when he came back down, he was carrying the case of money. Could be they've got a safe up there. Who knows how much would be in it. But then why not move a sufficient amount from there to here? Why did I come up short? There's always the explanation that someone was just lazy. If all he needed to do was go up to another safe, he wouldn't have asked for half an hour. Good point. Let me get this straight. When the vendor asked for payment, there wasn't enough cash. So then the boss got more money from... somewhere in this building. And that's where the box comes in, remember? There was a box with paper in it, next to the, uh, ones with shark fins and abalone and stuff. Ichibon's, yeah. like, surprisingly smart Just for being a Yakuza dreams protagonist. Of dreams of paper. Before he paid the guy, the foreman took that paper up to the second floor. He just has no Wait. constant subtlety. Are you saying the paper is... It's what they use to print the fake money! They make that shit right there! You think they have that kind of printer? They gotta. What? And all the stuff they're importing? They it's like he's dumb, but he's also like money. way more observant I than like know. most he's others. Like and he's like more likely plan. to connect dots because but of it. it's possible. They do make all their payments up front with cash. That's really unusual in this day and age, especially with the sales volume they have. Another good point. There has to be some reason why they would refuse to use a bank. And I think their big profits tell the same story. Me too. Well, maybe it sounds believable to you two, but not to me. But it's right there. The reason they pay in cash is to use their fake money. Can't do that with a bank. That would also explain why they're able to sell at cost. The profits would be crazy doing it this way. I mean, after all, they're essentially getting their product for free. Plus, the seller takes the fake bills to China. Where they won't be traced back to Japan. That's bold, but in a way, airtight. Mabuchi's a sharp guy. Maybe his primary goal is to hide where the money comes from. What, you mean money laundering? When I was in prison, I heard some guys in my room talking. They said foreign currency is easier to fake than yen. But the problem was, you have no way of turning that fake money into yen. If you take it to the bank, they'll know it's fake right away. Maybe that's why Mabuchi is laundering the shit with a cash-only trading company. The products are just a front for the money laundering. Sounds like we have a lead on Mabuchi's fraudulent scheme. Let's use this to threaten him. We've got leverage now. Wait, this is all just speculation so far. We need to find solid proof that he's counterfeiting money. Proof that will really force his hand. What if we snuck up to the second floor and took a picture of the money printer? No way would it be that easy. If they have a printer up there, 
Security on that floor will be tight as hell. And if we get caught, it won't just be a slap on the wrist, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, let's not do anything super dangerous. We only need to sneak out one fake bill. Psycho, you already have access to the fake money. Uh, yeah, but didn't I tell you about the body check they do on me when I leave? Now I see why. They're doing that to ensure I don't take any of the fakes. Okay, but they don't check us guys. We're just unloading crates. Could you slip us a bill while we're working? I could try. You have to be really careful. Of course. Nice. Tomorrow I can say goodbye to all this manual labor. I'm actually feeling kind of excited about this plan. Then I'll make us- Yeah, it's come together. Tonight. Oh god, Sayako, why aren't you wearing socks? Oh god, why aren't you wearing socks, Sayako? On this floor? I'm beat. No worries, I'll go. I mean, I know you don't normally wear socks, but Sayako, come on. You used to be a Yakuza, right? Uh, yeah. Your old life must have been a scary one. Was it hard on you? I guess so. But what counts as scary is different for everyone, isn't it? And, you know, it changes over time and all that. Yeah, I understand. I'll tell you something. The old me would have no idea what to do in this situation. But the new me? It feels like she can do anything. Or at the very least, what used to scare her, just doesn't anymore. Sounds great. But you still gotta remember what actually is dangerous and be careful. You worry too much. Come on, let's go. <sighs> are here and we have more sub stories baby we also have that oh god we also have business mini game <laughs> yeah, yeah you got three big beef staves looking after you you're gonna be fine psycho don't you worry Oh, oh boy, alright. <laughs> Regular UI. Off of the eight demo. Anyway, business minigame, because I want Aerie. Now we can talk to Omelette. Looks like she's trying to say something. Like she's in a good mood today. I think I'm actually starting to understand her. <laughs> oh, Alma, that's such a funny joke. <laughs> We're becoming one with the chicken. <laughs> oh, Alma, there you go with that joke again. Lately, <laughs> why are you cock a doodle doing? Oh, it, it's soon. <laughs> Give it to me. What the? What's going in the omelet? Egg. 
talk to Omelette like 20 times and you eventually get an egg from it. Kasuga-san. Kasuga-san, it's finally time. Your first shareholder meeting. Hmm? Shareholder what now? Hmm. In short, it's a meet and greet with the shareholders who have our stock in their company. The shareholders are going to throw questions and opinions our way based on the results of this fiscal term. So I'd like you to do your best with dealing with them, Kazuka-san. Deal with them? Well, it's actually more akin to quelling their anger. Our company still has a long way to go, so of course our shareholders are always angry in one way or another. But if they go home angry, they'll start foregoing their shares, and the value of the company will drop considerably. If the share price goes, the value of this company goes with it. <sighs> And if the share price rankings go to shit, it'll be harder to fulfill the promise to Nick. That what you're saying? Yes. Yes, that's exactly right. Seriously? You say it's a meet and greet, but it doesn't sound fun at all. Okay, so what do I have to do to get make him less angry? Best way to do that is to demonstrate the charm of our company and properly address the opinions of our shareholders. That should be enough to leave them satisfied. <laughs> if not, you could try apologizing from the bottom of your heart. Gravely might be a good way to go, too. I've done it a few times, and it's proved most effective. Sounds like you've had it rough, but... Wait, am I doing this by myself? I'm not sure if it's just me is going to be enough to convince these guys. Oh, no, uh, you won't be by yourself. You'll be able to choose up to four employees to join you at the shareholder meeting, so please make sure that you have a strong enough team lined up beforehand. Each employee has a different level of persuasive ability along with a specific field of expertise. So keep these in mind as you choose your team. Also, I should tell you that it's better to bring employees with higher positions and motivation to the shareholder meetings. They tend to be much more persuasive. Wow. I gotcha. Okay then, I'll get a good team together and dive right in. Yes. Yes, great. Please do, Kasuga. Yeah, Omelette's got this. Omelette's gonna be very persuasive. And random people have... Oh god. Oh god, all the people! <laughs> so all of those people, some of them you meet out on the streets and they just want like an item or a quest done and then you can like potentially recruit them. Other Others of those people uh, are obtained some sub from sub stories. Oh god, all of these people. Got the fucking monkey? Yeah, <laughs> damn you, New Game Plus! one of the people you're supposed to have for the uh for like a first time playthrough of this because in the first time playthrough you're supposed to buy Nishio and another guy master for like the speedrun strats because they're both red units and you want to get some red units on your side because there are three colors of employees, green, blue, and red. And you want to make sure you have at least one of each for the boardroom meetings. Because you only have green and blue. By default. But for whatever reason, Master isn't showing up? I love how I can just hire a child. Also, I don't think I have the DLC for this, so I don't have 
the special units. Again, just to show off speedrun strats, even though again I am not hurting for money. I guess I will fake it with the uh, her. But yeah, make sure you always auto care before every shareholder meeting to make sure they are all uh, green, like with the uh, little health thing in the middle. The little emoji face. You want to make sure they're always green. Yes, like team. You. Wait, I think. And then you. And then you. And then you. Something like that. Basically, you want to make sure you have one of every color. It is very, very important. Consider the shareholders handled. And then there's a whole fucking thing about this. Basically, there will be people, uh... Where's a good screenshot of it? Here. And they will have a little meter. If their meter fills up, they will auto attack. If you attack them before their meter shows up, uh, you get to kind of decide what order you want to fight them in. When they initially uh, show up, they will have a like color. They will have a speech bubble of a certain color. This goes off of Pokemon rules. If they have a green speech bubble, you want red. If they have a blue, you want green. And if they have a red, you want blue. It's Pokemon rules. Just remember the starter, like, weakness triangle loop thing for Pokemon, and you're good. Because doing that will not only break their shields immediately, but it will also allow you to do more damage when you start, like, spamming your attacks. We'll start with the financial report. President I'm doing this now because I don't know how to explain this while it is happening. Also, if you're in trouble, you can press triangle at certain points to, like, stun them. You want to make sure you win this by either, uh, pacifying all the angry people or by having time run out while your support is up still above 50. Thank you. Let's move on to the Q&A. If you have any questions... Nope, wait, wrong one. That one. <laughs> Respect your elders! And make sure you just like spam while they're weak. If you have any questions, this is the time to ask. There you go. Please raise your hand if you have a question. Yeah, one thing I'm forgetting is that their shields are not always the same color as like what their like weakness is. Now just a Please raise your hand if you have a question. If you have any questions, this is the time to ask. Get out of here, dude. That dude, that skull would be so good at this. So I fucked that up a little bit because colors, but that's basically what you do. Meeting was great, but I just fucked that up in terms of like speed run. Teams are skyrocketing. That's the good shit. Our ranking went up. You okay? So you normally don't increase that much in between these. 
but uh, because I have uh, a bajillion yen, uh, I I I'm cheating. And I get to level up faster. Great work today, President Kasuga. Ugh. Ugh, I'm beat. Shareholder meetings are rough. <laughs> You'll get used to it. The more a company grows, the bigger the number of shareholders and the more extreme the claims. Today's meeting was just the beginning. Really? That said, I think you did great for your first time. Convincing all the shareholder meetings that, uh, all the shareholders at a meeting can have an overwhelmingly positive effect on our share value. Perhaps it, the oblate in the corner. Perhaps it'd be best to think of a shareholder meeting as though it were a sporting event. Just do as you would, uh, just do as you would do all you can to prepare for a big game. It's best to uh, run the business while always anticipating the upcoming shareholder meetings. <laughs> all right. R run a strong, ready for anything business, but one that won't anger the shareholders too much. Still, this sounds pretty tough, so I'll be looking for you for support. Yes. Of course. By all means, keep up the good work, Kasuga. President Kasuga. And so, yeah, you kind of just rinse and repeat. Until we get to the first, like, major shareholder meeting. Let's get down to business. Oh, nope, there we go. I do have the DLC. <laughs> there they are. Hey, boys, what's up? Hey, girls. <laughs> There's the DLC. We just had to finish all the tutorials. That's the other guy that you're supposed to get if you're using speedrun strats. We got a job to do. But yeah, again, I'm trying to show this as much as I can closest to how a first playthrough would go. So it's like, while I can like upgrade my employees and stuff, I'm not going to. That's not right. Cause this is speedrun strats. Still make it rain. Here's how the business did. You guys just read out there. Thanks for going up. Yeah, no change because I am uh broken as hell. So excited for the lads that you hired them all when you were still in the beginning and then had to fire them because they cost too much! Yep, that's what happens. <laughs> Get down to business to defeat those jerks. Okay, so this is a commercial time slot. If you have followed what I have done and haven't done any other extra upgrading of either properties or your employees or buying more prop employees or anything, even on a first playthrough, you should have enough money to buy this commercial time slot. Because this commercial time slot is normally a thing that can happen randomly after you do the whole, like, hold R2 bit. Like, when you're doing just like, you know, like the normal, like, progressing of the mini game. This one is guaranteed to always happen. We do this. You want your commercials. We got a job to do. I'm so hungry. Here you go. <gasps> Ichiban Senpei! Whoa! Aren't you President Ichiban from Ichiban Confections? I sure am! Eat at Ichiban's Ichiban Senpei! 
First in Smiles, Ichiban Confections. I love how they just straight up parodied the fucking like Japanese commercials. Like that is how Japanese commercials work. Let's make that again. Still make it rain. Here's where the business is. Nice. You got great out there. Thanks for going up. Yeah, no change. I know, <laughs> cause I am busted as hell. Hitters switching over after receiving a pretty good offer. How fucking dare you, shirt? Sure. Always give your employees raises. They will fucking leave if they you don't. We got a job to do. I love the little car, it's so good. <laughs> uh, still make it rain. Here's how the business did. These nice. are incredible you guys are great out there. Things are going up. Go away. I don't want you. Monica, I swear to fuck! The shareholders meeting is coming up soon. We got a job to do. When you stream this, uh, um, didn't like Daigo get like five, like, hey, I'm about to like leave. Give me a raise or oh, like I'll leave. And it's like Daigo, I swear to God. <laughs> That's not right. <laughs> uh, still make it rain. Because, yeah, that could happen sometimes. Like, the game will just pick an employee to be all like, nah. That's the good shit. Yeah, and the commercial uh, will last up until a shareholder meeting. It is time for a shareholder meeting, which means we gotta heal everyone, make them all feel good. Hopefully, I can do this better. Handle. We'll start with the if it wasn't so good at this uh, shareholder meeting stuff, you would have fired his ass for subordination. Fair. We'll kick things off with the financial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank whatever. You. Let's move on to the Q and A. Please raise your. <laughs> Yeah, you want to hit their weaknesses while they are broken because that will like allow like a damage up. Please raise your hand if you have a question. And yeah, if you need like a bit more time, you can always hit uh you're sorry. Please raise your hand if you have a question. Because I will also, uh... No, just the... Uh, like, that heal your little bar thing in the bottom. And there you go, that's how Everybody, you're supposed to do that. A lot faster. I think it was Majima 2, yours was always been Yuki! <laughs> the meeting was great! Skyrocketing. That's what I'm talking about. Our ranking about. went up. But yeah, completing the shareholders' uh good lets you get to keep uh lets you get, have some money uh for good in like the like real world, not just mini game. We got a job to do. Yeah, I don't remember who my like problem Still employee was. Here's how the business did. These are nice. incredible you guys results. Did great out there. Going up. 
and no change because most of your rank up is going to come from uh, whatever. I have a bad feeling about this crap. What do I do? So yeah, this also happens every now and then where sometimes uh, there'll be a random little thing of like, hey, if you spend 1 million yen, you might keyword might receive 10 million instead. I have all the money in the fucking world, so I don't give a shit. But normally you have to like be careful about it. This is also a thing that could happen incredibly randomly. Mascot or er, omelet may show up as a mascot on TV, which will just give you a free five million dollars. God, I am glad I'm not actually speedrunning this. This would be awful. I've got so many like messages in between these rounds. I think Sterix and investments are really worth it. They normally aren't, but as I said, I have 12 billion yen. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Why not? Losing 1 million to possibly get 10 million? Whether that works or fails, it doesn't matter to me. We got a job to do. So yeah, Omelette's the real breadwinner here. Let's make that again. That's not right. <laughs> you, <laughs> you and it. Uh, still make it rain. These are the business kids. These nice. are incredible you guys are great out there. Yeah, yeah. No change. Yeah, but it didn't perform. <laughs> oh well. I don't. Again, I don't care. Let's be pretty lucky. Yeah, fuck off. Go on, let go. You are pretty lucky. Uh, still make it rain. Nice. I've had the the investment stuff like work every now and then. The shareholders meeting is coming up. But yeah, for the most part, it doesn't work. Pretty lucky. <laughs> oh, yeah, you can also pay attention to the uh, little, uh, like error, not error, but like, you know, something has gone wrong messages while you're holding R2, because that can actually like help show if like, you've got a problem. Cause like if you get like way too many war overstocked, that normally means your like stats are too high for your sales volume. Increase your sales volume. Again, I am so glad I'm not actually speedrunning this for real. There's this is too, way too many fucking pop-ups. The shareholders meeting is about to begin. Because, you know, she's actually here to stay forever. You sure know how to treat your enemies. Again, you normally aren't supposed to be doing this, but... <laughs> These two are going to be here forever. So I'm going to do it. Normally for speedrun strats, you don't do that. Okay, good. So we have Jessie. That is the girl on the far right. I believe if she is here, that means that if we succeed, we get to beat it. We get to have Aerie. If we can beat her. Consider the shareholders. Because she's like the quote unquote boss. 
of like this rank. If you would. We'll kick things off with the financial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Let's move on to the Q and A. Please raise your hand if you have a question. Probably could have gone for omelet on that last hit. It's fine, because omelet is cheaper. Raise your hand if you have a question. If you have any questions, this is the time to ask. Give me more boost. Questions. That concludes our periodic easy peasy. Well, to be fair, if an angry chicken flew at you in a meeting, you'd back the fuck down immediately. Hell yeah. I mean, I would be like, why is a chicken here in the first place? Thank you! The meeting was great! Things are skyrocketing! Go, Pixelichi, but go! Our ranking went up! And there we go! Rank 100. That's how you do, uh, and that's how you get airy as fast as fucking possible. <laughs> we did it! What? Uh, uh, what's going on, Granny? H-Bunk Infections is finally in the top 100 of the share prize right, rankings. What? Huh? <laughs> what, you serious? That's great! Oh, boyfriend, you're amazing! Maybe we can go somewhere more private? No, oh, that's okay. I'll settle for the compliments, I think. My controller just yelled at me. My controller is yelling at me when that happened. Hey, it sounds like you got yourself in the top 100. Nicely done, Ichiban. Thanks. Thanks, Nick, but it's only because of your investment. <laughs> no, actually, plenty of people fail, even with all the investments. You really were cut out to be a manager after all. Seems I wasn't wrong t uh, to believe so. I'm always willing to invest in people who bring results. Allow me to give you an additional investment, Ichiban-kun. How does another 50 million yen sound? Hmm? Uh, huh? Uh, you sure you want to give me that much? Absolutely. That amount will be chump change once you reach the next level, but there's a condition this time as well. Is that okay? Of course. What's the condition? Top 50. I want you to get the top 50 in the share price ranking within the given period. Things won't go as smoothly from here on out. Sh the shareholders will be harsher, and you're more likely to be harassed by rival companies with a, uh, let's say, a less than favorable opinion of you. The amount of money you handle will increase, and the responsibilities will be greater. Knowing all that, are you still up for the challenge? Okay. You have to ask? I live for fighting against the odds like that. Climbing my way up from the bottom is what I do best. <laughs> Excellent! I knew you were the man for the job, Ichiban. In that case, I'll deposit the money right away. Use it carefully. I do look forward to seeing you succeed. So yeah, I'm not going to stream the rest of this because... God fuck, you just saw what this minigame entails. Most of it is just hold R2 and then know your colors. Next goes the top 50, huh? Gotta make sure I get a whole lot tougher so that we can do whatever the fuck. I didn't read it. And so yeah, from this point forward, uh, you do need more properties than just Ichiban Confections. You are going to need to buy better stores, which means you're going to have to, you know, like evaluate uh, what stores are good and what stores aren't. So like, which ones do you think are worth it? Uh, you're going to have to handle your employees a bit more. And so on and so forth. But that's the basics. I 
I'm not doing the rest of this on stream. I will do it while I disappear for the cool. holidays. And also, pay your employees and heal them before shareholder meetings. That is Im also important. Also, story is happening. Because, hey, you know how the fucking real estate have the five billionaires? And, uh... What the hell were Majima's things called? The kings? No, the kings are the billionaires. I don't remember. Uh, here's Ichiban's versions of them. Ichiban Confections, isn't that that cracker shop that's on its way out? I heard some novice girl inherited it, but I never thought she'd bring it back to life like that. <laughs> She's an impressive one, that's for sure. Yeah, five stars, that's it, thank you. Yeah. No, actually, that girl is the current president. Huh? What? Then who is it? Ichiban Kasuga, a former Yakuza thug who was supposedly homeless until just recently. Where did you get this picture? I mean, the city in here is... Who's backing him? It's Nick Ogata. Oh. Uh? So... Nick Ogata! That bastard again? What should we do, sir? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? We take immediate action like any good business should. Nagano Watari. As always, I'll be counting on you to handle this. Hey. Sir, leave it to me. I'll give it everything I've got. Just don't draw too much attention to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. All right, Mishima. Let's come up with a plan. R right. I ain't sure about this. That guy's as violent as he is stupid. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's call it a trial run. Any company that gets crushed by a moron like Nakano Watari was doomed from the start. Ichiban Kasuga, I look forward to seeing how you fare. Yeah, excuse you, we're no thug, we're very handsome. Let's do our best to reach our next goal, Kasuga-san. Reach top 50, share price within seven business. <laughs> okay. Right. Which means within seven uh ba -ba 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 shareholder meetings, which is really easy, actually. Mm -hmm. What's wrong, Eric chan Huh? Oh, uh, it's nothing. Doesn't seem like herself. I wonder if maybe something's bothering her. Hey, Eric chan if you're up for it, you want to go out for a drink? Oh, uh, uh with you, Kasuka san yeah, we can celebrate uh, getting into the top 100 while we're at it. We've been so busy running the company, I didn't realize we uh, haven't gotten all to talk that much. Unless you're not up for that. Oh, no, of course I am. I've been wanting to spend time with you, Kasuka-san. All right, then, let's do it. We can go to this place called Survive. It's one of my favorite parts, and it's just up the street. You cool with that? Yes. Uh, sure. I'll have to get ready before I go, so let's meet at the bar. Okay, I'll see you there. Yeah, Granny likes us. Can I use Stack Slap? Hell yeah. If you're beloved by little old ladies, you can't possibly be a thug. Exactly. Do I want to know what's going on here? Sorry to disturb you during your recovery, honey, Yamasan. Can you tell us what happened out there? Oh, hey, you're Anzai fucking Nonomia's VA any again. Further contact with Anzai san since the incident? No, none at all. Just an apology from a representative. Anzai san insists the play was entirely his doing. He performed a dangerous slide despite the fact that he was in the clear already. How did you see things, honey, Yamasan? That's not far off, but I don't believe he made that call on his own. We understand that Anzai-san is an old friend of yours. What sort of player was he back then? They say playing as number four next season's a fool's errand. What are your thoughts on that? 
There are even rumors Anzai-san will be leaving the Yokohama Shark Stars. Shark Stars? And this baseball player or not, these reporters are ruthless. Hey, please, no pushing. Hey, this shit's serious. You all right, man? Oh, thanks. Hanayama-san, we still have some questions. You hey, pushed the man over. I apologize for pushing him over? Yeah, I, I didn't. Assholes. This guy's injured, and you don't even think to say sorry? Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 I'm sorry. Sheesh. You guys are hopeless. <sighs> Thank you. Oh. Can you stand? Here, grab my shoulder. Ichiban's so nice. Thank you. Um, Kasuga-san, was it? I'm Hanayama. Might not look it right now, but I'm actually a baseball player. So, that leg? That because of your friend Anzai? Being an athlete's not all it's cracked up to be, huh? You could say that. This whole thing is really starting to make headlines. You haven't heard? Sorry. Nope, we live under a rock. That stuff. From what the reporters were saying, Anzai acted on his own. I don't think so. He's not the type to do something like that. Pretty kind words about a guy who put you in a cast. We were in the same baseball club from elementary all the way through high school. His accuracy's always been perfect, so... No way this was an accident. But he cared about the team with all his heart. Was always a true sportsman on the field. He put the bond with his teammates above all else, even winning. I just can't believe this thing was all his idea. Even if that were true, he's still the one who made the play, right? You saying someone ordered him to do it? I'm thinking it was the Yokohama Shark Stars' shifty manager. That's Anzai's team, if you didn't know. The manager? Why do you say that? More than the new manager's baseball team, plot, because we will never escape place. baseball. Ever. Gonna change anytime soon. Hell, Even if baseball man is no longer here. Retire before the ink on his contract dried. Must they got a win? Of course. Have they given Ichi a bit of skincare? Why he looks more game, scraggly here? Maybe. Season. So the guy got impatient and ordered Anzai to take you out. It could also maybe be like the very small difference between the PS4 and the PS5 because Anzai swears this is technically a PS4 game. Speaking of which, I'm surprised you're willing to hear me out. Anzai is basically public enemy number one right now. Even if he is your friend. Nobody be like, yeah, sure, this is the PS5 version of the PS4 like game, you, but you know what's up. That mostly is just affecting load times. I think I could trust you with a favor. A favor? I'd like you to meet with Anzai and find out what really happened. With the shape I'm in, I can't exactly hop across town. Meet with Anzai? But if you can't even get to him, but yeah, they I, may have also updated like the skin textures and stuff to make him a little bit more smooth. Usually in disguise. Probably there We've now. come a long way from Yakuza Zero, as you can count the poor on every single sure male character. Sharing I'm sharing because you did me a solid. Make Meanwhile, the, all the female characters are baby smooth. Rare thing. Uh, look, I'll make it worth your while if you help me out with this. <laughs> like I'm gonna say no after all that? Yeah, fine. I'll go ask him for you. Ah, oh, thanks, Kasuga-san. Ah, oh, here, let me give you this. His looks might have changed a bit, but... This yeah, give them all a good facial scrub. I'm they deserve it. Off to Hamakaze Street. Hello. Why are you following me, sir? Sir? I didn't know a bug could be so pretty. It's like it's painted silver. You've got a real nice shine there, bud. Promise I'll take good care of you. Hell yeah. So sometimes you'll run into silver and gold bugs. You need them for crafting, depending on what you're crafting. But they're rare, so be careful. Sure, why not? Get rid of that. Look at the scorpion, it's so shiny and gold! Sorry, Psycho. Can y'all get out of the way?
Oh, there you are, Ari. Come oh, here. Chief. Hey, I keep you waiting? No, I actually just got here. So I see you brought a friend. Welcome to the You're only time. Come on. And the, or rather, the last time mine. that Please. anyone is going to interact with Ari outside of Grandma day. and now Ichiban. Corporate big shot. <laughs> it's a long story. One I'll say for another time. Right now, we're here to celebrate. So how about you work us some magic? Huh. Fine, then. So, we made it to the top 100. I think that calls for a toast. Cheers. Oh, that's good. I wanted to start off with a thank you for all your support. I mean, if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be president of anything. You're just being modest. If anything, I should be thanking you. If I weren't so naive, I wouldn't have had to drag you into this I mess. Think once in a chat with the Dachi Spirit Animals. Right, yeah, there is that the chat. Needs. But outside of this cutscene and that, Ari is now going to be stuck in the character? business dimension forever. Life itself is better with you around, Kasuga-san. Speaking of character... Even if you bring her with you into battle. Over on you. Who is this jerk ass anyway? He's the president of a very big firm here in Yokohama. Serious? And he just preyed on you out of nowhere? Yeah. I never thought a professional on his level would do that. You see, I just inherited my company and didn't have a clue how to run it. It was a time I really needed somebody to count on. Yeah, it's all because... Then suddenly I met this... Business uh, tycoon, Ari really is actually genuine. a real life person ate up who won a contest to get like a self insert put into the game. Yeah. And so that's why she lives in her own dimension. Every time I think about it. I feel so stupid. And why she is not coming back yeah. for infinite wealth. It's not like anyone can really blame you, right? I probably would have done the same thing if I was in your Cause shoes. Because like, yeah, sure, like Namba is modeled after his Japanese voice actor, sure. Yeah. Eri Kamataki is literally just Eri Kamataki in real life. <laughs> you did what anyone would do. I know you're just trying to... Or whatever her name is. Katsumaki? You don't have to beat yourself up. Whatever the fuck her last name is. Kasuga-san. You're right. I know it's pointless to punish myself over something in the past. To be further, yeah. classic term. No matter what kind of company this shit talk to. Amarant looking at you. Yeah, no, I remember getting Amarant, and then he just kind of like top. faded from the story. Begging for mercy. Same with Queena. Yeah, we will. We'll even also Freya a little bit. Completely buy him out. Freya didn't have we'll too much, which is upsetting. All the businesses he stole, and start our own holdings company. I like the sound of that. And with that attitude, nothing's gonna stop us. So keep your chin up, yeah. Enjoy the ride. Right. We are talking about Final Fantasy. There's that airy child <laughs> smile. Honestly, I saw you looking kind of down, so I got a bit worried. Oh, was I acting strange? Sorry, it's just... Something on your mind? You know you can always talk to me. How should I explain this? I was just thinking about my dad. Oh, yeah? It's like... Um... Whenever I see you smile, I always think of my dad. You two are so alike. Aww. That's why I got so emotional really all of a sudden. A remake. But I, I want to replay it so bad. Or anything. Don't worry. Oh, okay. I can't wait, wait sec, to though. see how much I've I forgotten. Because <laughs> gameplay stuff. Mm. want to think her father is like us big poofy hair I don't think anybody has big poofy hair not like us he but I want to go for hair hair like this oh no he always made it a point to look clean cut and I'm not <laughs> You sound so offended. Case, I wasn't referring to your. And I'm not. 
It's the way you carry yourself. You're funny, outgoing, always full of energy. You make everyone around you smile. My dad was just- Too late, I've chosen an option. He always made me feel safe and secure. To be honest, so do you. <laughs> Is that right? I wish I could have met the guy. Sounds like we would have hit it off. <laughs> I'd like to think so. So I remember right. a couple years Over back awesome they were course. making I'll all put my like... heart and soul into making Ichiban confections. Is it pretty nice? I be... forgot what figure company no, was no doing it, but they were making some like man. Final Fantasy IX like legacy. figures, and you like they were coming out in like child. pairs. Like you would get two more. characters as part of one set. Like there's like Zidane and Garnet, Vivian Steiner, Freya and. Uh, Beatrix, I, I Beatrix, however you say so her name. Much on your plate already. You're Which then you'll be okay? left, oh, well, uh... Well, this won't be a walk in the park. But Queena? I have on my side. And... Good people? Aiko? Is that her name? Yeah. A group I trust... Is that the small life. child? Can't get much done I think that's them. Aiko. So I'm sure... Like, they're a set. And then Call fucking the Amaranth and Kuja was a set. <laughs> <laughs> like, the last well, one. And it's like, oh, okay. doing it, though. Some of these sets are going to get bought, and other ones that these aren't. Hey, you okay there? Kasuga-san, could I ask you a favor? Uh, yeah, what's up? Do yeah, Fig Arts, that's it. I could ever be part of your inner circle? Absolutely! Just don't get sucked into the business huh? dimension, okay? Look, you promise me so much for me since the day we met. But I, I actually have the Vivian Steiner set. The <laughs> I wanted my really faves. They're my boys. The two, those two, never left my party. If I could help it. More active role in your daily affairs. That way, you could focus more on management without feeling bogged down by all your other stuff. That's a win for you and our company, right? I can't think of a reason for me not to join. I don't know. We all walk a pretty tough road. Shit gets out of hand non -stop. Do you want to help us investigate the Chinese it. mafia and their counterfeiting fully aware operation? Of and trust me, I won't be a burden on that front. Okay, but Harry Chan, as much as I like the idea, I just don't see it happening. Please, let me be the one doing you the favor. Besides, if you say no, I'll just tag along without your approval. <laughs> Guess that doesn't leave me much choice. Same level, Rusty. Well, yeah, yeah, Steiner, good. <sighs> Fine by me. I loved okay. playing Final Fantasy IX and really then getting like Welcome one of Garnet's like Chai. ultimate summons. I forgot which one. I think it was Bahamut. And like unleashing it and then having this like big old long animation of Bahamut just like fucking destroying a town. Yeah, by the way. Harry Chan will be tagging along. From and then the damage number comes up, and I'm Harry, like, Steiner's basic attack hits harder than that. <laughs> Are you sure about this? Knowing us will probably bring you nothing but trouble. Yeah, we're always in one mess or another. Doesn't help that we've got these two drunks either. <laughs> Look who's talking. You don't have to worry about me. I just want to repay you for all the kindness you've shown me. And what kindness? They abandoned you to me! Just about, huh? <laughs> well, I can't argue with that. Good to have you. Welcome to the gang, Eri chan Thank you for having me. So yeah, Ares bonds are tied to ranking up in the business mini game, which means you're not going to see her things. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I like the rest of your party members. Ares bond level only increases as you grow your business. Increasing your bond has many benefits, such as giving her access to new jobs and skills. Keep your business skills sharp to deepen your bond with Ares. But most important, and then that's where that's where Ares lives in the business corner, all by herself. She will never be seen again. Not in main story. Hope you're ready for this. Ooh, 
we get to hear this in English? Give me some love, okay, guys? Go, 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 go! Every jump, yeah! Spirit born, time out of hell, born again! The fiance! Like a butterfly! It's drowning in its greed, the wicked trap was sprung. Hey, hey! Tangled in the threads of its deeds. Tangled in its crimes! Like fate scoops up a fish, struggling in a net. Go, go! Its brittle wings are torn by the tears as it drowns. You tore your wings, now cry! The spider comes, a thirst in its eyes. A butterfly with no wings is a mop of the flight. Just a rat on the floor. <laughs> Kaiji is not gonna wrap it. Fucking sunglasses. Let's fly high like a butterfly. You dream long at the stage, dream again. And fly high like a butterfly. To the bitter end, overdrive. Burning out in an endless time. To the bitter end, overdrive. Burning out in an endless time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> fly like a beautiful butterfly. Fly like a beautiful butterfly. Oh, Kaiji did that. Oh, yeah, at the end. Real good, though. Awesome. Anyway, you know what it's time for. It's time to do that again, but in Japanese. <laughs> time to do it again! And flashbang myself. I forgot. God, because Infinite Wolf didn't flashbang me. I forgot. Give me. Yes. I swear some of these goods are bullshit.
God, that oh yeah at the end. <laughs> Somehow did even worse. Don't know why I'm so bad at this. This version is much better but less comedic. Nakia isn't exactly much better than Kaichi. It's like they both go all in on the oh yeah at the end, but in like different ways. It's fun. Because like Nakia just goes like as high as he can. Well, like Kaiji just like yells it at the top of his lungs. It's great. Yeah, I think I'm just going to do sub stories for the rest of the stream and not do the main story thing because I think the next main story beat is going to be a lot of cutscenes and a set pace that takes for fucking ever. But yeah, we got Neri now. Which means we have to make a decision. Yeah, it's a different kind of demented. <laughs> oh, right, I turned you to a matriarch last time. XP do you get if you're not in the main party? Because I wanted to get Airy ASAP, but I, I don't know who the hell I would drop for Airy. Because I also like these four. You're in it now. Fight. Yeah. Get alive. Watch this. Have fun with this. So I'm like, all right, how much XP does she get while not in the main party? Point six. I did it. element resistance. That's actually really good. And I don't know what the hell you would need. I have a bunch of sacrifice stones. What the hell? idea. If I do this, if I give you both of these Yakuza training gears, but you stay out of the party, do you still get the boosted XP? I'm experimenting. Okay. Trying to learn. Let's go. Okay, it's regular XP, not job XP. Fuck. So itchy. But you still do get the bonus. Do I have anything?
Do I not have any jobby EXP items? Do I really not have any jobby EXP items? What the fuck? Okay. How do I not have any? Hello? Adachi, I am so sorry, but you have the most bond points, which means that you're going to get the most XP outside of battle. Let me show off Aerie, because Aerie is very good. Aerie is where a good chunk of damage will come from. Like, hey, you know Thumbstack Scatter? Let's go. I'll show you. It does a lot. Granted, her job level is a lot lower than most of our others because I, like, got her off of her base job and turned into a matriarch, like, ASAP or oopsies. But yeah, she, uh, can do some very good damage. If I, you know, actually properly <laughs> geared her up, which I haven't done, because I took her things away. Take you that from Madachi. And you can have this one. It would also probably help if I gave her a good weapon, but it's fine. Because. I don't know. I might change her to something else again to like have the whole thing of. Everybody uses a different thing. Than what I used the first time. Come on, group together. There we go. That's thumbtack scatter. That's how that works. I'm getting stronger. Yes. Thumbtack scatter is one of Aerie's best skills. <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous. Let's go do that one, and then we can go back up here for Baseball Man, and then... I don't remember what that one is. Oh yeah, I should also show off Aerie's self-heal, <laughs> because she has a self-heal! Right. Luckily, Aerie is super fast. Let's go. Where is it? I'll show you. Huh. Feeling better already? <sighs> it is making my controller vibrate. Yeah. I love that that is very clearly still the same model as Check this out. the like giant version that Ichiban can use as a weapon. You're gonna get stopped. Okay. But yeah, she just grabs a uh Hitachi massage wand and rests her neck. <laughs> Fuck yeah, here we go! I wouldn't underestimate me. I got this. You're in it now. I'm not yeah. it. <laughs> Was that her going yay? Oh, that's fun. That's fun. Hey man, what's up? How you doing? Ooh. Oh, Kasuka-san. Uh, thank you so much for last time. No worries. 
Looks like you two really hit it off. Happy for you. Yes, uh, on that note, I had something I wanted to discuss with you, Kasuka-san. I know it might be a bit early, but I was thinking of asking Shirakawa-san out on a date. No any good places for a date? Having no experience, I'm not really sure where to take her. I'd be too early to say, but he's acting a hell of a lot more positive than he used to, so that's good at least. Mm. First date, huh? Okay. Hotel, the house, the theater? Whose house? Yeah. Check the movies. You guys can talk about it afterwards. See what you both thought. Arigatou I see. Yeah, that'll definitely keep the conversation going. Thank you, kasuka san Oh, yeah, and, uh, since it's a date, you guys should go see one of those romantic flicks. Romantic. Okay, I understand. I'll go and ask her out right away. Is that the voice I gave him last time? I don't remember. I oh, know you good. Jericho, oh, your face. Are you all right? Oh, Kuroi san, I I'm fine. I just, uh, bumped into something, that's all. Pork soup coming right up. Yeah. Oh, well, I, no, wait. Yeah, yeah, yes, thank you, but actually, I have something I want to ask you. Yeah. Oh, what is it? Um, would you like to go to the movies with me? What? Is that a no? Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I was just surprised. It's definitely not a no. <laughs> Look at his face dropping. He's like, whoa. Y you've changed, Kuroi-san. You're totally different from when I first met you. You think so? Hi. Yes, uh, I could learn a thing or two from you. I'll be looking forward to the movie. As we just stand creepily in the corner. <laughs> Damn, that went well. <laughs> sure, go on, so yes! We're going, we're meeting at the uh, Seagull Cinema around noon. Right, I, I was thinking of getting her a gift for a date, but I, I want to ask for your advice again. No. Nah, you don't need me anymore, man. Uh huh? You know her better than I do at this point. I'm sure you'll come up with something. Just keep doing what you're doing. Ooh. Oh. I guess I do know her a little better now. Y yeah, okay. Meeting at Seagull Cinema. Which is over there, but it's not popping. Hmm. Send me to hello work. So that we can either give Ari a new job or put her in a costume. Or both. Can I help you? Change jobs. Alright, what should we do with Ari? You're doing great. I'm just grabbing these so that she gets her skills back. Congratulations. There is her normal uh clerk. Take your time. Which is, you know, pretty speedy and does like knife damage and stuff. Literally speedy. Literally just <laughs> the late end stuff is focused on agility and attack. Uh, I guess there is idle for like a true healer, but I haven't like upgraded this like at all. This will be healing and defense focused. Uh, and then there's dealer, which is like, hey, you like RNG? Cause we got Trickster's top hat. The bane of the speed running communities. <laughs> Bane of the speedrunning community because okay, you know something that this game doesn't explain whatsoever? 
So you may kind of figure out, oh, there's like uh, different levels of like attack up, attack down, and like those kinds of things. Because sometimes you'll get like a single like arrow up or down, and sometimes you'll get like two or three like arrows up or down. So it's like, it's kind of easy to figure, oh, there's different levels to that. Hey, did you know there's different levels to the, uh, like, status conditions, too? Like, there is at least two levels of poison! The poison that one of, uh, that a later party member will have, and the poison that Nancy can give, are both level one poison. The poison in Trickster's top hat is level two poison! So it'll do more damage! So in the speed run, when you get to the final boss, you are hoping to get the poison bit off a of tri trickster's top hat so that you can just go full in on like damage later. The problem is that if you don't get the poison trickster's top hat turn one, you then start running to issues because Airy is going to be one of your biggest damage dealers. You can stack them too, right? Kind of? You can replace a level 1 poison with a level 2 poison, but putting two level 1 poisons onto the same target will not turn it into a level 2 poison. Which is the issue with the speed run. So, like, you could, in theory, use Nancy or the other party member's poison attack to make sure you always have some kind of poison damage, but you are still ultimately uh, trying to get the level 2 poison off a of Tripster's top hat because it just does the most damage. It just extends it? I don't know about the extension. Uh, because I know some enemies will eventually heal themselves of status effects, but I guess the final boss will never heal himself of poison. Which is something I also realized in my playthrough because I, like, poisoned him via Nancy and I was like, Wait, this poison isn't fucking going away. It's been like 20 turns and he's still poisoned. So I don't know about that. But yeah, Ari is going to be your biggest damage dealer in the speed run. So you want her to stop using Trickster's top hat so that she can start doing damage like Dart Airstrike and stuff. Yeah, Dart Airstrike. And so you start running into problems of trying to, like, get Trickster's top hat to land the poison versus how much damage you're losing by not having Aerie do damage. If you've ever watched the speedrun for this game, that's why the final boss, like, part of the reason why the final boss is so RNG-based is because not only does he have RNG with some of his skills and, like, what he's going to be doing on his turn, but it's also, Aerie, will you please land poison with your Tripster's top hat earlier rather than later? Please and thank you. But yeah, anyway, what, uh, what jump do we want for Aerie? We could also save her for something that I don't have, and then hopefully when I come back from the holidays, uh... I'll have her at max strength because I'll have done the business mini game. Gonna hit the hey, have a nice evening, love to you all. Alright, go get some good sleep, Demon Queen. I'm probably not gonna go for too much later. This was literally just fucking business mini game and airy! I do like the dealer fit. Hey, boops, welcome, welcome. I mean, I don't have a healer, but also I'm new game yeah, plusing, and I don't really need a healer at the moment. Take your time. Plus, do you have a heal? You're going to. But that's a safe self heal. What do you think? Do you? No, no you don't. Okay. Ha. Huh. 
Take I mean, Namba has some heals. I think. Yeah, <laughs> Namba's kind of a healer. <laughs> kind of. And those are level skills, so no matter what he is, he can be a healer. What, what is the other grab skill? Oh, it's fucking may leave them brainwashed. That's nothing. That's nothing. Maybe I'll just leave her alone. I'll be rooting for Wait, you. no, but cuts costumes. I forgot costumes. Yeah. Costumes, 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 costumes. Even if I leave her alone. Do you want Aerie to be dressed up at all? <laughs> we could turn her into Song Hui. Or Sayama. Give her an Ono Michio head. Kamataki, that's her last name. Wish the Ono Michio heads were bigger. Yeah. They look wrong, small. They look so wrong. Like, I'm guessing it's because of, like, hitbox reasons? They need to leave it small, but it's weird. You know what? You get to be I'm Sayama. Sure Hi, Namba. <laughs> you should give someone the camel up costume. Oh, that would be great. Uh, that one. Where are we going? We're going this way. It kind of as it was Daigo in there all along. That'd be so good. That place Anzai like should be around here somewhere. All right. Hey, you're Anzai, the guy with the killer slide. We lost the game because of you. What's worth, Hanayama's out for the season. What the hell were you thinking? Well, the beard's new, but that's definitely the guy in the photo. Looks like he's got some company, though. Quit the tough guy act. Quit with the tough guy act and say something. <laughs> that was all my fault. Even if I were to apologize now, I don't expect to be forgiven. Bastard, think you can just play it off like that, do ya? did put his friend out of the game. This is too much. Yo. Hey, you're going a bit rough on someone who's not even putting up a fight. Uh, who's this joker? Oh, I'm just passing by, but I can't let this slide. Two against one's a little unfair, don't you think? Eh? Back off. This asshole hurt one of our players just so his team could get ahead. Yeah, well, I got some business with him, so maybe you two should take a hike. Shut up, keep running your mouth, and we'll take your anger out on you first! I'm in. Yeah, yeah. I'm not Threatening men! Way, but I we look like a bunch of assholes. Kinayo, let's go! You're gonna get stomped. Fight! Hey, get together, get together, get together. Thank you. I feel the stats going up. <laughs> Shit, who the hell is this guy? Yo. Ari's so OP. She's so good. I had her a matriarch in my first playthrough, and it was so fun just like watched her swing like the fucking 
Nagidata? Is that what that weapon's called? Like, around and then also sometimes just pulling out a machine gun? It was great. You alright? You're that baseball player, Anzai-san, right? Arigato. With how much time it, uh, it takes to invest, uh, how much time you have to invest to get her, and then also to get her bond levels up, yeah. It makes sense on why she's so overpowered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, don't know who you are, but you saved me. Thank you. My name's Kasuga, so you really are him? Ooh. Yeah, I am. But I won't be in baseball much longer. I'm glad I got a hold of you. I met it, uh, with a guy named Hanayama. You might know him. Mm -hmm. You met with Hanayama? Yeah, he was looking for you. Wanted to ask you about that slide. Knowing him, he probably said I'd never do something like that, right? Yeah. That's right. Anayama believes it wasn't your call to make that play. Of course he does. Hmm. I thought it was strange myself, but seeing how you were acting earlier, it doesn't seem like he's wrong. Can't imagine somebody who plays dirty like that would just lay down and take a beating. Yeah. Look, I don't know what all that Hanayama told you, but I did all that on my own will. Nobody ordered me to do it. Then why do it? It's not like you had to pull a dangerous slay like that, right? <sighs> I panicked. Players do it all the time, especially in a game that could guarantee the team the set season. I need to turn on my light. It is so dark in here. Oh my god. <laughs> I like the regular screen is flashbanging and it's so bright. Okay. <laughs> sure, but you're Hanayama's friend, right? You want to put your friend out of the job just for a game. In the world of professional sports, it's all about winning or losing. Can't be saying something naive like that, uh, that just because he's my friend. So let's leave it at that. The incident was entirely my doing. I'm at fault. I plan on retiring. Isn't that enough? So did you. I really appreciate the safe back there. Take care. <sighs> I should tell Hanayama what went down. Better head back. Can you stop fucking following me, sir? Yeah. Chitose looks pretty fun though. I wonder if Psycho's gonna get rebalanced because like while well, obviously like anybody can kind of play any role, uh Psycho's definitely more like magic oriented while Aerie's more like physical. Or at least that's what it, you know, it kind of seems like with how I play them. Uh, but Chitose already looks like she's like, kind of magic based? Or at least she's, you know, MP heavy. Hey. And her, I think her default job actually follows the like, thing where it's like, if you are a magic oriented class, your base attack also restores MP. So I'm like, are they both going to be magic users, or is Psycho going to get rebalanced to be more physical? At least these guys haven't taken up residence in your b-hole like Tom. Yeah, I know what I was swimming in. <laughs> Tommy Zawa was just up my goddamn ass. I was like, buddy, can you stop? Yo, how's it going? Uh, Kasuga-san, did you meet with Anzai? Hmm. Yeah, I did, but... He was persistent about it being his fault. <sighs> was he? But he was just like you said. I can see why you believe in him. Thank you, kasuka san Still, we're at an impasse as long as he keeps quiet. Ooh. Hey, you two. Who are you? My name's Kudo. I'm a journalist. You're kasuka san right? Hmm? We know each other? Wonder what song he's gonna be able to like? Right, I forgot song he's a party member too. She's gonna to probably be the physical user. Sayako might be like more heavily magic. Chitose is probably like a kind of like in between. And then Song He is gonna probably be physical. 
Yeah, she like her default job might be kind of like matriarchy. So I had helped out Hana, Hanayama. Kind of embarrassed to say it, but I sort of followed you. What for? Looks like you and Hanayama were really hitting it off. Figured you'd make a move about the slide incident. I even saw you meet with Anzai. What's your angle? Ching out there. Uh, don't get the wrong idea. I want to help you two. Help us. I'll get right to the point. I've got inside info on the Shark Star's manager. Uh, really? He's had a nasty rumor going around about him for a while. Nobody would dare say it out loud, though. Everyone knows that he was behind what happened. He's even been uh, seen threatening Anzai here and there. No, I'm not there. What? So Anzai gets all the bad press while that jerk just gets off scot-free? He's got connections all over town, not to mention money and power. Silencing bad publicity's uh, all a day's work. There was a reporter doing some digging on all his wrongdoings not too long ago, but apparently both he and his publisher went missing. The press couldn't write about this guy even if they wanted to. <laughs> even if they wanted to, huh? Some journalists. My thoughts exactly. That's... It's why I'm bringing this information to you. And that information is... I was able to find the manager's favorite spot. Some place called Rose Blossom. He comes in from the back entrance, usually pretty hush-hush. Wow. And if we go there, we might find this guy? Hmm. Yeah, you may be able to uncover the truth. I intend to do the same and get some evidence. Evidence. We can't put a story out without solid evidence, but if we can get some dirt on him, something he can't talk his way out of, then we'll have him cornered. For that, we need to get him all his guards down. Going in by myself is too reckless, however, so I'd like to ask for you for help. I see what we're getting at. I'm in. Hold on. But hold up, that's way too risky. You screw up and you'll be thrown out of the game for good. That and somebody's bound to recognize you. But I... I'll go. That'll work, yeah? Arigato na. Yeah, thanks. Head to Rose Blossom when you're ready. We'll meet out front. I'm going to probably just finish up this sub-story and then I'm going to end it. God, two hours is not a long time to play this game. Mm -hmm. Hey, hold up, Kudo-san. What is it? Why suddenly take a risk like this? You'll be in serious trouble if shit hits the fan, won't you? I guess seeing you go the distance for a complete stranger made me feel ashamed for putting so much crap all these years. I'm a journalist. Words are what I do. If I'm not using that power to put a-holes like him in their place, then what's the point? Plus, I'm a fan of Anzai. Watching him play ball inspired me to chase my dreams. The least I can do is try to get back. <laughs> it's really not. I mean, granted, this is, you know, under two hours, but still. You're a passionate guy. I thought all reporters were full of shit, but I guess there's some good ones out there, too. Yeah. Sorry you got mixed up in all this. I'm counting on you, Kasuga san. Leave it to me. That asshole won't know what hit him. All right, go to Rose Blossom. Where is that? Oh, over here. Kind of. Wait, no. That's part-time hero. Rose Blossom's over here, right? Yes, that's where Adachi wanted to go. Right. I don't know why I spun the camera there. I got like confused. Please, thank you. Like, I'm glad for my, my like, five-hour-ish streams. Like, yeah, sometimes it's, like, it can feel like a lot, but for, like, these games, it feels like a good amount to, like, get stuff done. You're here. The manager just arrived. Okay. Perfect. All right, let's do this thing. Alright guys, cheers to the Shark Star's big win! Cheers! Nah. Hey, Mr. Manager, drinks are on you today, right? 
Th that, that's how it is, huh? Well, we did win. Sure, drink all you want. Mm. So that's on size manager. <laughs> Forget that there's cabaret clubs in this game sometimes because you avoid them entirely. Me too. <laughs> if it's not zero or K2, I don't touch them. <laughs> Talk about a win, man. It was so close. Not often we have we get such a tight game. Really, it's all thanks to Hanayama getting decked like that. <laughs> no kidding. Hanayama's son's the one that got hurt, right? The guy Anzai took out? It's all over TV. <sighs> you know, Anzai was kind of my guy, too. Shame he turned out to be such a creep. <laughs> I'll say. A couple of choice words from manager here, and he fought out, uh, down to another player. <laughs> Ain't that right? If it's not required for main story or sub stories, it's not getting done. Nope. Again. I'm okay, I guess there are sub stories tied to the Zero and K2 ones, but it's like, yeah, those are the only exceptions. Because, like, Kiwami 1, for example, its hostesses are tied to sub stories. Hey, I've never even unlocked Amon and Kiwami 1. Primarily because of the sub hostess sub stories. Wait, did you tell him to do that slide, Mr. Manager? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, I didn't. I just gave it to him plain and simple. All I said was that we would have been able to win with Hanayama in the picture. Told him that if he were loyal, he'd take care of it. Think you've only fought Amon in Zero and Gaiden? I have unlocked Amon in K2, 4, and 5, I believe. Uh, K yeah, K2, 4, 5, 6... And then obviously seven, because seven's like, you know, it unlocks automatically. But I've only beaten him in K2 and 6. Yeah, just not about that stress. Yeah, no. Sometimes I get the idea for a very horrible stream of what if on my own time, I unlocked Amon in every game except for K2 because I showed Amon on, on stream on K2 because K2 Amon is extremely cheesable. And then I had a day where I just went through all of the Amon fights in all of the games back to back. And I'm just like, this sounds awful, but it also kind of sounds like fun. <laughs> but it sounds awful. That's all. <laughs> oh, you're a bad boy. Anzai became a baseball player after manager picked him up. There's no way he'd disobey someone he loves so much. <laughs> Still, good thinking. You're really playing the win. <laughs> Gotta keep a good handle on those who owe you. He did well. We get our big win while he takes the big fall. <laughs> yeah, I didn't unlock Amon and Gaiden because I couldn't get past fucking Brody, whatever his name is. Him. Figure since he's out of the game, I'll at least give him some sort of referrals or for wherever he ends up. <laughs> Very no. kind of you. Appreciate you clearing that up, boys. Who are you? I'm your local journalist, Kudo, and I've just recorded everything you said. Eh? W what? We've got proof that you're behind all of this file play. Once we get this over to the press, you're finished. <laughs> <laughs> if you make it to them in one piece, maybe, but who do you think you're dealing with? Oh, hello, you have friends. Oh. Yeah, I couldn't get past Brody's like giant health bar, so I just gave up. <laughs> I couldn't even get past the first one. Don't underestimate me. You can't stay manager if you don't learn how to play the game. Stand back, Kudo-san. But... You said you're good with words, right? Well, this is what I'm good at. Matter of fact, I'm just the guy for the job. Leave it to me. R right, uh, good luck. Ooh. Boys, I want these idiots and their pre precious evidence gone! <laughs> Stand by me. Let's take it out front. I'll take on the whole damn team!
Justice should definitely be the last guy. No, I'm, I'm talking about Brody. The first one. The fucking clown man. I got this. I, got the green, I, know. I should really put that on a shortcut so I can get it while they're all still grouped up at the start of a fight. Cool. You sure you want to get hurt? You're gonna get hurt. Do you have any AoEs? Not really. I wouldn't underestimate Come on now. Let's get this party started. Yeah. You're gonna be in a world. Are any of you in a line? You two kind of are. Sure you want to You're in it now. Here we go. Serious right now? Aries just taunting you sure you these guys. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. I've lost the timing for this shit. Help. I'll show you. Here goes! Ah! You're gonna be in a world! Yeah. Check this out! Summon order <laughs> You're gonna get it some dog, Joe! Okay. You sure you can beat me? I love Ares taunting. She deserves it. Hora, Kuyo! Ladder shatter? What this do? Someone order a prize order! <laughs> right. Huh? Yeah. Okay, I got this. There we go. You sure you can beat me? You got it. Thanks, you really saved my ass. Don't sweat it. Anyway, you better get on with that article, yeah? Ooh. Yeah, for the first time in a long time, I'll finally be able to write something uh, worth reading. Anze will be able to return the baseball with this. <laughs> yeah, throw it in my mouth. I would like the fruit platter, please, and thank you. This is for helping me with our little interview. Take it. Give my regards to Hanayama and Anzai. Yeah. Sure. That's a relief. Now Anzai can make his return. Better let him know. And you are back over there. Of course you are. Thank God before. it's voice this is the end. Your manager admitted to everything. Huh? It'll be out to the public soon. And then you'll finally be able to put this all behind you. You can get back to playing baseball again. Pretty cool, huh? <sighs> no. That was still my fault. I have no intention of returning to the field. Damn. Why you gotta be so stubborn? <sighs> sure. My manager. Nope, there's the lighters. <laughs> The sad sub story song, yeah, god damn it. I'm still the one that went through with it. <laughs> no matter what my I feel like it plays said, so much in this game. If I hadn't done it, none of this would have happened. <sighs> you don't understand. Baseball is sacred. And I ended up betraying it. Whatever the world says. I don't have any right to play the game ever again. <sighs> Not after putting Hanayama out of the game like that. I'm excited for the new sub story songs for Infinite Wealth hey, because hey. that one glimpse we heard was pretty I fun. I'm down and out just yet. Huh? Hanayama. <laughs> Still stubborn as hell, eh, Anzai? Oh my god. Hanayama. 
Kaneyama. They didn't play it once so in Guide sorry. and you're so disappointed. Did they not? No. I, gotta I say, guess they didn't. I wow. Took away baseball from you. Even knowing how much you loved it. I'm truly, terribly sorry. <sighs> like I just said, don't talk about me like I'm out for good. It's not over for me yet. You haven't taken anything from me. <laughs> huh? I can't say this doesn't hurt. But I'll recover. And I'll make my triumphant return. Just watch. The fans will be sad if I don't. And what's worse, my good friend will just stay depressed. Oh my god. Hanayama. Whether you come back or not, that's up to you to decide. Either way, just keep this in mind. When I step back out on the field, it won't be the same Maybe game I just if you're not in it. Baseball bat. Yeah. <sighs> Hanayama. <laughs> you're not gonna make it up to me by moping around. Is it yellow you? with horns and has electricity it right. on it? Then do it on the diamond. We're baseball guys, aren't we? <laughs> Come on, Anzai. Don't worry about it. Why don't we give it another crack? We'll climb back up together. Why? Why would you ever be willing to forgive someone like me? Well, that's what friends do, right? <sighs> Haniyama. Hey. Thank you. Kanishibon <laughs> just leaves. Oh, good thing there's no crying in baseball. And there we go. That is going to be today's stream. Second hand wingtip shirt for uh 250. Looks like you'll be Hanya Man for Korokon. Hell yeah! Nice, nice, nice. It's wood with the bloody barbed wire. Okay, that, that works too. <laughs> so yeah, there may probably, possibly be one more stream on Christmas Eve if you guys are going to be around for that on Sunday. Because, I mean, I have like a dinner so I can't go late and I might end early to make sure that I don't go late but i could still stream christmas eve so yeah i'll probably stream christmas eve and then i'm going to disappear until the new year's because i gotta go visit some family some family have some cookie prep stuff for Krima so you won't see you, but help you have fun. Yeah. VODs will always be there. And then hopefully uh, next time I can like progress story a little bit so that I unlock the dungeon so that uh, over the holidays, I can lose my mind and level grind <laughs> people's jobs. <laughs> Just completely go insane and also do business. I've at least unlocked business to do uh, over my break. I at least can do business on my own. All right. Uh, who to raid? Uh, Barry is doing some Vampire Survivors because there's a Among Us DLC for Vampire Survivors for some reason. I don't get it. Yeah, there's a Mogus for vampire survivors. I don't understand either. But yeah, thank you all so much for coming and hanging out. Hope you have a good night, good evening, whatever time it is for you. Hope you take care of yourselves and I'll see you all next time for more of this. And in case I don't see you on Sunday again, because it is Christmas Eve. Happy holidays to those who celebrate. I'll see you all in the new year. But again, I am going to probably stream Christmas Eve. Bye bye.